Rex Meta, take one. Instagram is a platform that allows users to share their photos and the videos that helps them to connect with their friends and families. Android is adopting the latest media technology very fast on their platform, and this allows me to deliver the best media quality to our users. Because Android is open source, we can create optimized solutions for better performance. Instagram earned the adoption of Ultra HDR, transforming the user experience in only three months. Ultra HDR is a new API that is introduced in Android 14. Ultra HDR is a technology that brings more vivid color and brightness to the picture, which is very different from the previous SDR or standard dynamic range technology. This is revolutionary in photography. We've been overwhelmed with positive feedback from professional photographers, OEMs, and video editing companies to integrate the feature together with Instagram Map. We started building for Ultra HDR right after the Android 14 release and finished the feature in December 2023. Photos and videos are the most important way of human interaction. Being an early adopter of Ultra HDR became our next step to provide a richer user experience. All Android devices can share and receive Ultra HDR images, even that they don't support Ultra HDR. Users can edit and apply filters without losing the HDR of the original photo. We optimize the memory users to allow to edit up to 10 HDR images at the same time. We're happy to implement Ultra HDR in beta stage. It brings enhanced photo quality and a more fun user experience. I recommend to all developers to be resourceful and don't be afraid to ask for any help. As a trailblazer, there was only a few resources available online, but I would highly recommend looking into the code samples provided by Google Developer Relations team on HDR photo capturing and the rendering. We got great support from Android Media team while building for Ultra HDR feature, so huge thanks to them. Did we get that? Good job, man. Yeah.